Um, hi everyone. Um, this is the first episode in a uh, hopefully longer series about how to uh, use Git and Subversion in parallel. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, creating a Subversion uh, repository just locally on the file system. I've got a place where I like to keep my Subversion repos in here. I'll create it using the SVN admin create and then name of the repository. Let's just call the company repo like this. And now I have to import some sources into this uh, freshly created repository. So I got a little project here called Sandbox lined up. I'm using the SVN import uh, command to uh, import this into my repository. So where did I put it? There. Company repo, and we'll call it Sandbox on the side like that. Okay. Initial commit. There we go. Now um, I want to check out uh, the code that I just imported. Uh, I'll keep my uh, subversion sources inside sources slash SVN here. Um, I will just check out uh, the code using the same URL that I imported it with. Company repos and us. And now um, there's not so there's not so much history here yet. So I'll just do a little bit of uh, committing inside the repo the subversion uh, code, uh, saying that's subversion rocks inside the readme file. And I will commit saying improved readme. There we go. And now uh, I want to jump into the shoes of a Git user. Uh, I like to keep my source in here. Um, I'm going now to clone the repos the subversion repository uh, and its uh, history using the git svn extension and the clone command. Uh, which I can point at the same uh, URL that I um, used with Subversion. So, users, df, nickel, Subversion repos, company repo, and sandbox. So, and there Git goes along and imports our code. Um, Now we can see in the git log that, oops, I'll just step into the sandbox folder first that git created. Um, and here we can see in the git log the, the same commits uh, that we had um, done in via subversion, along with this identifier that git uses to kind of tie the, um, the git commits together with the subversion originals. And I think that's enough for the first part. Next time we'll continue with uh, doing some commits from the Git side and doing commits from the subversion side and seeing how they kind of crash together on the server side and how that works out.